Hey guys, I'm Heather from Caliber Plan, and today I am joining you because uh, 2017 is just a few days away, and with the new year, I've had a lot of people ask me, what planner do I use and why did I choose it? So we have a lot of people who are choosing their new planners for the year, and there, there's so many different planners out there, and it can be overwhelming if you don't know what planner to go with. So I thought I'd make a quick little video um, showing you the planners that I use and why I chose this system. So if you're new to my channel or to my Instagram, um, you'll learn very quickly that I am a happy planner addict. I love everything about the happy planner. So um, I'm gonna start by showing you the classic size happy planner because this was the first happy planner that released. So this is a classic size happy planner. Um, the Happy Planner comes in three sizes, but for a while they only had this one size. So this one's called the Classic Size. Sometimes on the Michaels website you might also see this one called the Medium Size. It's the same thing though. So some things about the Classic is it has nine discs, and they're the medium discs. So they all come with the same size disc in the Classic. Um, classics come in 18 months or 12 months. Um, this one is a 12 month planner. There are 18 month planners, but those were dated from July of 2016 to December of 2017. So you would pretty much just be pulling six months out if you got an 18 month planner now because this first six months have passed. So anyway, this is a 12 month planner that just started this week. Um, some things to know about the classic size is it's a little bit smaller than um, your normal like printer paper. So if you wanted to print something to add to your planner, you would want to print it at 80% and it would fit then in your classic size planner. So the classic size planner has nine discs and this is the most common. So most of their accessories and stuff will fit with this planner. So if you really like the accessories, then you'll probably wanna go with this size. Although they do have some new accessories for the smaller sizes too. So um, the classic planner released first and about a year later, they released the big planner. So this is the big one and this is the classic size. So you can kind of see them um, when they're compared to each other. So as you can see here, the classic size has nine discs and the big has 11 discs. Um, so 11 discs for the big, nine for the classic. The big size planner, one thing that's really great about it is that it is the same size as your normal printer paper. So if you ever have anything that you wanna punch and add, it's really, easy to add it to this big planner. That's why a lot of people love this big planner. So they come in big, classic, and then the last one is the mini, which the mini is just so cute. The mini has seven discs, and they also come on these miniature sized discs, which are really cute and tiny. They're 12 months, and 12 months fit perfectly on this disc. So, one reason that I love the Happy Planner is that it comes in three sizes. And so you're bound to find one that fits your needs, um, or you might wanna use all three like I do, because all three of them fit your needs. So that's the first reason that I really love the Happy Planner. The next reason and the biggest reason that I love the Happy Planner is that it's a disc bound system. These are discs, um, it's not a spiral bound. So the great thing about a disc bound planner is that you can punch things to add in and you can take these out. So like this is a sticker page and I can easily pop it out. So you can see here, these are little tabs, little slits in the paper and you just pop them back in. So you can add all kinds of things to your planners, which like here, I've added a notebook, uh, or I'm sorry, a folder, which is really great. Um, and you can add note paper, and pocket pages and all kinds of stuff here. Let me show you, um, I use one of my classics as a memory planner. I've used it as a memory planner since July. So here you could see where I've punched a lot of things. Like here I've, I punched the ha Happy Planner Challenge and you can just pop it on. You can pop these pocket page dividers in. Um, but you can just punch a bunch of different stuff. So like we went to uh, New York in July. So I was able to punch a lot of different things from our New York trip in September. 
Um, I went to the post pinners meetup, so you can see here, I was able to add in a lot of things from that weekend. And the way you punch it is they have these punches right here. Um, this one is for the classic size, the blue is for classic, and then they have a pink one that's for the big. Um, you could really use, if you get the pink one, you can use it for all sizes. Um, and if you have the blue one, you can make it work for the big. You would just have to slide the pa paper um, to punch the last two holes. But anyway, so you would get the punch and you can easily just um, slide items in, punch them, and then add them to your plan. The punch is a great reason to love the Happy Planner. Um, but they also make a ton of accessories for your Happy Planner. And you don't even have to have the punch to use them. Um, so here is an example. This is their classic size budget planner um, that they have. And you kind of have two options with this. You could um, take a month at a time. So January is about to start. So if I wanted to, I could take the whole month of January out and easily pop it into J right before January in my normal planner. And then I'd have them together. And so we kind of call that Franken planning. That's when you put... Um, multiple planners together so like I could have my January of my budget planner and my January of my regular planner all in one planner or you can keep it in its own mini planner so that's what I choose to do with my budget expansion pack but it's totally up to you and that's one thing I love about it is it's so customizable so I just use this this is my budget planner I bought some mini discs because you can buy these discs separately and an extra snap cover and I made my own mini or classic size budget planner. Um, but I love, that's another reason I love the Happy Planners because it's just so customizable. Um, speaking of customization, there's so many different things you can do just by buying um, mini discs. Mini discs are one of my favorite things and I love that you can buy them separately. And I make all kinds of other things with mini discs. That's why I just love this Happy Planner disc bound system. So here you can see that I have a set of mini gold discs and this is their do-it-yourself cover. So I was able to buy this cover and make it myself. So here, this is this was my Christmas planner. And I just put it together and it's just a whole planner that I created um, using their products. And it's a Christmas planner. But with the Happy Planner system, you're able to make your own kinds of planners. So I have a Christmas planner. I also made using more mini discs because they're my favorite. Um, a travel planner. This is when we went to New York and Connecticut this summer. So I ha took a page out, planned our days, did a little memory planning. When we got back on these pages, I was able to punch in and add different papers. These were all the papers we needed on our trip, like reservations and stuff. I was able to punch those in, fold them in half, punch them, and have just a mini travel planner. So that's another reason that I love this Disbound system is you can make your own planners. It's very customizable. I also love the Happy Planner, again, because using their D DIY cover and their mini discs, I was able to make a notebook. So they make all kinds of notebook paper. So as you can see here, this is some graph paper that they make. Um, they make regular note paper, more graph paper, but I was able to just um, take all the paper in my DIY cover and make a little notebook. So again, another reason that I love the Happy Planner. Um, also, here's some more mini discs. If you can't tell, these are my favorite. They, they also sell extra covers in sets of three. So this is great if you just want to make your own. So here is a fitness expansion pack. Again, with this, you could take a month out and you could pop it into your regular planner. So here in this planner, I could have a fitness month, a regular month, and a budget month all in one, or I could choose to have three separate planners. That's one thing that I love about the Happy Planner is it's just so customizable as to what you want. And you could even take um, a month of fitness, a month of budget, and your regular month and put them on mini discs and just have a really miniature planner and just keep everything else at home on your desk. So that's another good option if um, that interests you. So they have the fitness expansion pack. They have these awesome pocket page cards, which these are just, um, if you want to put pictures or memories or things like that, and then you can just pop them into your planner to uh, remember different things. So like here, this is, um, this was my goal page for 2016. So I had three goals um, and I popped this in my planner and then I wanted to keep it. So I put it in here when that planner was over. So that's just another example of the Happy Planner Disbound system. 
And one more example that I have is, um, this is, they also sell um, covers for the big. So this, this has more mini discs and the big covers. They have these wonderful hourly sheets which I keep the whole pack of hourly sheets in this um, little planner. And then I just pull them out when I need them in, cause this is for my teacher planner. So like if I know I'm gonna have a busy day, I just pull this out. And then I would take out my teacher planner and then I would just pop it in to the day that's gonna be busy. So that's another great thing about them is if you're an hourly planner and you do like the hourly pages, they do have that option and they have these in big, classic, and mini. So no matter what size planner you choose, you can still have that hourly planning on days that you need it. Um, but not every day needs an hourly planning, so you don't need them every day, but it is nice to have on the days that you need them. So... Um, they also sell, I don't remember if I've pointed these out, but they sell great folders that you can pop into your folders, which is, or to your planners, which is great for sticking in extra stuff. Um, so that's just another way to use your planner. Um, so those are a few reasons why I love the Happy Planner. If you can't tell, it's a big reason is because of the discount system. Um, but I also choose the Happy Planner because they have great accessories. They have tons of value sticker books. They call these value sticker packs because in each book you get 30 pages of stickers. Um, and it's just tons of different stickers. And these stickers are sized to fit your planner. So you can literally um, flip to a page, pull off a sticker, and it fits perfectly in your box. So it makes planning um, really easy if you want to have a cute planner it's very easy and quick to do it with their stickers and they're really affordable too these sticker packs are $19.99 a piece but if you shop at Michaels Michaels almost always has them on sale or there's a coupon on their app so it's just really affordable they have great sticker packs as you can see I have them all there are 18 value sticker packs and they're all just as great as the last um, they also have great other great accessories for planning on the go. This is a pin case that they sell. You could put in some um, sticker packs here, pins here, and then normally when school's in session, I would keep some sticker books in here for planning on the go so that I can plan at work. And these fit perfectly. As you can see, I fit five in here, and then I can just zip it up and go. But since school's not in session right now, I'm doing all my planning at home, so... That's why this is empty right now. But this is really great. Another really great accessory um, for your happy planner. And of course, they also sell a couple of different bags. This is one bag, um, a travel bag that you can grab for your planner if you're someone who likes to plan on the go. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to share about why I chose the happy planner um, is the covers. Um, these covers are really great for on the go. This is called a snap cover because it snaps right onto your disc. It's very sturdy and firm. It's not coming off and it just folds on top of itself. So you still have plenty of room to plan at your desk. I love these snap covers. I have, I think five of them, but they're just really great. They make it look professional. There's a few different styles that you can choose from. They're really firm and sturdy, but they also have a few different cover options with the deluxe cover and the regular covers. So they just have a lot of great options. Um, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the difference in the different sizes in the planner so that you can kind of see in case you are still trying to decide if you wanna use a happy planner. So this is the big happy planner spread. The boxes are much, much bigger. They're two by three. So there's plenty of room to write here. Um, if you have a zip printer and you print a picture from your zip printer, they also fit perfectly in these boxes. So that's a fun little way to memory plan. So this is what your big um, spread looks like. And you're gonna wanna be sure to look at every planner because the insides look different, but the boxes and the basic layout is the same. So that's what the big one looks like. And then the classic is like this. So you could tell it's much smaller. Um, the boxes are pretty much about half the size. I know the width here is 1.4. I don't remember exactly what the height is here, but it's it's pretty much almost half of the big planner. Um, but it's got the same layout with the notes in the seven days. 
And one thing to know about the Happy Planner is on the weekly views, it does go from Monday to Sunday. It keeps your weekends together, which I love. Um, so that's kind of the difference in the big spread and the classic spread. And then the mini spreads, all of the minis are actually a horizontal view. Because if they did them vertical, the boxes would be really, really small and you wouldn't be able to really write much. So that's this is what the mini view looks like. Um, so that's what those look like. Um, I hope that kind of helps explain why I choose to use the Happy Planner. Um, that's why I use their products. But I also choose the company because the people who run the company are just really amazing people. Um, they really care about their customers. They really care that, about their products. And they're just really genuine, amazing people. And I love supporting them. So that's another reason that I'm really happy with my choice of the Happy Planner. So if you're um, trying to pick out a planner and you're not sure which one to go with, um, I suggest the Happy Planner wholeheartedly. If you choose the Happy Planner, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram name is Kel of a Plan, and I'd love for you to follow along on your happy planning journey. Thanks. Happy planning.